Apple painting tutorial with watercolors. Realistic apple and this tutorial is suitable for beginners. But first, let's go out and find some apples. This is beautiful autumn time, so rich and vibrant with colors and just the perfect season for picking apples. Apple picking with children is an amazing time spent together. Beautiful ones. And we found someone. And now back to the studio. An outline drawing is done, which is available for download. Link is down below with an elastic eraser removing the excess amount of graphite of the paper. Now let's mix watercolors. I have a real subject in front of you in front of me, which is the best because you can compare colors, work your way through mixing, trying different pigments. I use my top selection of watercolor pigments that, that I developed during years of painting. You can have your own pigments. I always encourage try and test the pigments you have in your watercolor box. Adding water to color palette and I have my color swatches to find very similar pre-mixed color, color recipe which I made some time ago for a different project and I found the best one which is Senelia Red and Lemon Yellow, two pigments. Let's try with that one. Senelia Red, it's very warm red color and Lemon Yellow to make it even more warmer more yellowish there's a lot of yellow and have a piece of paper where you can again test your watercolor mix place it right beside your subject and compare it is so good especially in the beginning of your painting journey to have a real subject in front of you second mix pearl and maroon which will go for the shadow part Adding lemon yellow to pearl and maroon. And the third mix, lemon yellow and sap green. As you can see, I am mixing watercolors very transparently, very small amount. These are professional watercolors. They last for a very long time. You don't need to make really big and saturated watercolor mixes in order to get the right watercolor mix you need it's just a few brush strokes and the mix is ready the first one is lemon yellow and ultramarine blue but i will not be using this color mix in this tutorial i thought that i will but it's not this is an amazing watercolor set which lasts for a very long time now let's start painting. Be sure that your water after mixing watercolors is clean. I have two water glasses for that and I'm applying with round synthetic brush watery layer, very thin watery layer to the whole apple. In this tutorial I will be painting only an apple, leaf will be painted in the next tutorial. And as you can see I'm lifting the paper, there are no puddles, water is not running away and I'm starting with Senelia red and lemon yellow mix applying on the shadow part of the apple adding pearl and maroon with lemon yellow we have in the reference and I always encourage open the reference right beside this tutorial on other gadget if you're watching on computer you can open it right beside the tutorial so you can really zoom each section in realistic watercolor painting it is important to really study reference. It's not enough just to have the reference inside the tutorial in a little corner somewhere. You will not be able to see the details. Adding lemon yellow and sap green to the left side, which we see in the reference that that is more yellowish greenish. And while the surface is still wet with round synthetic brush, I'm carefully and the most important, transparently pushing watercolors where I need them. 
if you will make two saturated watercolor mixes first what will be what will happen after drying the first layer you will have a crisp outer edge line which we don't need a very dark and crisp outer edge line then with dark and saturated watercolor mixes you will have a flat looking subject you can lose light very quickly and as you can see I left the light area wider than it appears in the reference because after a few layers I will have it more smaller I'm adding pearl and green to my mixes of lemon yellow and sap green for the darker part which we have on the bottom on the upper part of the apple carefully adding watercolor darker mix washing my brush and smoothing the applied layer leaving little gap of light you can see in the reference if you really zoom that upper part that there is a very small gap of lighter area in that upper part of the apple and still adding more watercolor smoothing and as you can see it's very transparent super light it's not even close to the reference and that is completely normal with watercolors after first second only or even third layer I'm speeding up the painting process you can have full access of this tutorial on my patreon link is down below where I'm painting from the very beginning till the finishing touches of this apple Now I'm at the finishing part of painting this apple and this is an amazing tutorial for you to try. You can push yourself and paint more, add more layers, more details, it's up to you. I enjoyed this very quick study of an apple, an amazing try and test for testing your painting of the round subjects. Hope you learned something new and enjoyed this tutorial as well. Thank you for being here and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!